Public Library today is Words and Wiggles, so we're going to read some books and sing some songs and do some singing and dancing and all kinds of silly things. So, as we get started, I want to let everyone know I'm Miss Denise. I'm Miss Olivia. Miss Annette. And Miss She's in the back. She is our new full-time library assistant um, in youth services, and Miss Olivia is now full-time. So we've got the two of them working full time helping us make library magic. So we're very, very excited to have all of you here with us. Today we're yet again going to talk about books because we love to talk about books. So today we're going to start out though with our opening song. So is everybody going to find your book? Find your pretend book? Put your book out. Does everybody have your book out? All right, here we go. If you're ready for a story, come sit down. If you're ready for a story, come sit down. Let's all gather near so everyone can hear. If you're ready for a story, come sit down. You guys are fantastic. Oh, Listen to that. That is a great way to start the day. So we talked about the word books. So we're going to show you the letter of the day. And the word of the day is books. So books starts with the letter B, right? Letter B, and this is a big B and a little B, right? And what is this in the picture? Box. It's a box. And what letter does that start with? B. B. Absolutely. So there's some more things here, Miss Olivia. What do we have up here? What, what does this look like? You're a right. Bat. It's a bat. Uh huh. And what do we? Ball. What do we do? It's a, a ball. ball. Oh. What do we got? Monkeys like these. Bananas. 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 And then you got bee. the B. That one's spelled B E E, but it just yeah. sounds like the letter B all by itself, doesn't it? So that's the letter B. And our number today is five. So let's count together on our fingers. Is everybody ready? One, two, three, four, five. five. Fantastic. Will you clap with us to five? Here we are. One, two, three, Four, five. Very good. So we are going to start today with our first book because we talked about the fact that we love books, right? Well, this book is called Bunny Loves to Read. Oh. Now, I know there are several of you that have bunnies that you've brought into story time before. So this is Bunny Loves to Read, and it's written by Peter Bentley and illustrated by Deborah Melman. So here we go with Bunny Loves to Read. Look at this picture. Does he look excited to read? He does, doesn't he? He looks very excited. So, Buster Bunny loved books. He's just like us at the library. He loves books. He read stories of princesses. Oh, do you see that? And pirates. Oh, goodness. Do you see the pirate in here? Oh. And witches and wizards. Look at this. I know. And he read books about trains. Yes. Train, choo choo train, yes. And dinosaur. Do you see the dinosaur? What kind of sound does a dinosaur make? Rawr. That's right. And you've read so many books, your head will explode. That's what his friends said to him. Oh my goodness. One day, Buster's friends came over. Look at all these friends he had at his house. Hi, Buster, they said. Are you coming out to play? Sure, said Buster with a smile, when I finish my book, it's all about pirates. He's excited about his book. Look at him reading. He doesn't want to go outside yet. You've always got your nose in a book, said his sister Bella. Hopscotch is much more fun. Hmm, I don't know. I like hopscotch, but I don't know if I like it better than books, right? Books are boring, croaked Francine. Look at her going up through there. It says, why read books when you can play leapfrog? Look at him play leapfrog. Reading is not as much fun as racing each other, agreed Max. Max must be the mouse, huh? Don't listen to them, Buster, said Sam. I think books are the best. Really, asked Buster? Yes, said Sam, smiling. Books are the best. Oh, he's so excited. And guess what happened? Buster says, for nibbling. Hey, said Buster. Look, he's chewing on his book, which we never chew on books. Said, then Bella said, come on, let's leave Buster with his dumb old books and go play outside. So all of his friends went outside and left him there to read, didn't they? Oh. But it was raining. The friends looked out the window gloomily. 
Why don't you read some of my books? Asked Buster, bringing out a big box. So he brings out a box of books so they can read instead of going in the rain. We don't want to look at books, said Sam grumpily. We're only waiting for the rain to stop. They didn't want to look at the books. Oh, Buster took a box, a book out of the box. There's a big thunderstorm in this story, said Buster. It's all about pirates hunting for buried treasure. <gasps> buried treasure, asked Sam. Like nuts and acorns? Yes! <laughs> Not exactly, replied Buster, but it's very exciting. Let's take a look. I bet there's nothing better to do. Do you see the yeah. pirates and oh, I know. They do say arg, don't they? Yeah. Frogs hate being stuck inside, grumbled Francine. This book is about a prince who turns into a frog, Buster said. Good for him, said Francine. Does he turn back into a prince? Why don't you read it and find out, said Buster. Look over here where he's a prince turns into a frog. Being cooped up is making me sleepy, said Max. He's all sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. Buster gave Max a book. The princess in this story got to sleep for over 100 years. <gasps> Read it and see, but how does she wake up? Well, okay, I might fall asleep before I finish it. Look how <laughs> tired he is, right? I'm bored. I'm going to get a cookie, said Bella. Hey, Buster, your box is in my way. Can't you just step over it? Only if I take a giant step, said Bella. What's happening here? Just like a dinosaur, said Buster. Some of them were bigger than a house. Can you imagine a dinosaur that big? It is. It's a big dinosaur, isn't it? Oh, Buster looked out the window. Hey, it stopped raining, he cried. Who's coming out to play? Shh, I'm still reading. The pirates haven't found their treasure yet. They're really excited about their books. And the prince is still a frog, Francine says. And I've gotten to just a good part about the Tyrannosaurus Rex. And the brave knight is still searching for the sleeping princess. So now they don't want to go outside anymore because they're reading what? A book, right? So what do you want to play? Said Buster when the friends had all finished reading. Hopscotch, leapfrog, tag. Oh, let's pretend we can do magic spells. If you give me a kiss, I'll turn into a princess, said Francine. Oh, no thanks, laughed Sam. Let's play pirates. Oh, gracious. Look out, said Bella. I'm a Tyrannosaurus. Look what she's doing. She's pretending to be a dinosaur. I'm off to find the enchanted princess, cried Max. Oh, my gracious. They played pirates and dinosaurs and princes and princesses until it was time to go home. Look at this. It's getting dark outside, and they are still playing. Do you have any other books about dinosaurs? Asked Bella. Sure, said Buster. What about frogs? Said Francine. Yes, said Buster, and toads, too. Anything else about witches and magic? Asked Max. Loads. Oh, he has lots of books, right? Can I borrow another pirate story, Sam asked? Of course you can, laughs Buster, as long as you promise not to eat it. Had to watch him, don't we? So that was the story about Bunny and how he loves to read. What are these on the cover here? What are these? Books, yes. There's a lot of books there. We love having books around us, like in the library. You can borrow books and take them home and read them and pretend to be a dinosaur or a giraffe or a rhinoceros or anything you can find in a book, right? It's all about using your imagination. So now we are going to do our very first song. Oh, oh, oh. Everybody ready to do some singing and dancing? Miss Annette's coming around with some egg shakers. We're going to have some fun music. They're fun. When you shake them, we're making music. Who thought a plastic egg can make such beautiful? Oh, it's beautiful. Yes. You are all already pros, and you just got your eggs. Yes, very good. Mm -hmm. So cool. I know they're going to have, this is going to be a good song, Olivia. I know it's going to be a good song. Oh, yeah. Okay. Can everybody shake a little? Just make it gentle. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You're welcome, You all want to make some noise with us? We always get to the kids first. Yeah. You're welcome. Bring them out. All right. So does everybody have their eggs?
Okay. Can you give me your listening ear? Okay, let's all turn around and look. So what I want you to do with your egg is I just want you to gently shake it. Very gently. Very good. Okay. So this is slow. Slow. Now let's do fast. Oh, you guys are great. All right, and then we stop. What good listeners you all are. Are you ready? Let's go slow again. Yeah. And then I want you to go fast. And stop. Now I want you to go up. Good job. Stop. <laughs> and then down. Stop. All right, we've got some good practice. Now, how we use these for music with songs that we sing is you do to the beat of the song, okay? Exactly. Now, everybody, does everybody know Row, Row, Row Your Boat? Yes. That's the song, but it's read, read, read a book, okay? So the words are up here, and we're going to sing the first verse of it. It's read, read, read a book, travel anywhere. Worldwide, you decide. A book will take you there. Are you ready? Let's get it going. Read, read, read a book, travel anywhere. Worldwide, you decide a book will take you there. Good job. So let's do that verse one more time. So everybody ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Read, read, read a book, travel anywhere. Worldwide, you decide a book will take you there. You guys are so good. The next verse says, read, read, read a book, beginning to the end. What a way to spend the day, a book's a special friend. Okay, so we're ready to do the second verse? Here we go. One, two, three. Read, read, read a book, beginning to the end. What a way to spend the day, a book's a special friend. You want to do that last verse one more time? You guys are so good. So here we go. One, two, three. Read, read, read a book beginning to the end. What a way to spend the day. A book, a special friend. You guys are the best. Okay. So with your shaker, let's do very quiet and slow again. Ooh. Then let's go up. Up. All right. Let's go stop. You are all such good listeners. Stop. There we go. Now we go low. Stop. Low. And then stop. Fantastic. Now let's do up. And stop. And one last one. Let's go fast. Stop. Good job. All of you have done a fantastic job with playing music today. They're doing really well on their rhythm. Oh, I know. Yeah. And you can do that with all kinds of songs out there. Well, thank you. Good job. We have such thank good you. helpers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> 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 All right, so we had some nice music, right? And so we sang a fun book, or fun song about books, and now we're going to read one last book today. Does any, has anybody read any of the books about the jelly beans, the rabbits that are called the jelly beans? They are so much fun. This one's called The Jelly Beans Love to Read. The bunny loved to read, and so did the jelly beans, right? And so this is written by Laura Numeroff and Nate Evans. And I'm going to take that down so you can hear me a little bit better. All right. Anna loved going to the library. How many of you love going to the library? Show me your happy hands. Oh, yes. We love having you at the library. But her friends didn't. Emily loved to dance. Some people like to dance. Nicole liked to play soccer. Does any of you play soccer? Some of you might. Yeah. And Bitsy loves to paint. Do any of you like to paint? It's fun, isn't it? Yes, I love it. Each friend was different. Just like jelly beans are different flavors, 
So the girls called themselves the Jelly Beans. What a fun name for their group, because they were all different. So one day, Anna asked her friends to go to the library with her. Wasn't that nice of her to invite her friends? Yes. yes. First, they met the librarian. The librarian's a duck. I like that. There's the perfect book for everyone, she said. Let's go find them. And that's kind of the way we do here is we help you find fun books that you enjoy. If you don't like it, you bring it back and get a different one next time. Oh, Anna was excited, but her friends were not. Look at her friends. They're like, mm, I don't know about this, right? So the library was full of great books. Look at all these books. But which one was perfect for Anna? She didn't know what one she wanted, right? The librarian had an idea. She showed Anna a book of fairy tales. Fairy tales are like about kings and queens and princes and princesses and wizards and all kinds of fun things. <clears throat> then, reading is magical, just like fairy tales, Anna said. That's why I love to read. So she found what she liked and she began to like to read, right? Now, all the jelly beans love to read. Look, they all go to the library together and read together. Now, how fun is that? Again, jelly beans love to read. And this is one of the board books that we have that are easier for our little hands and easier to manage so you don't have to worry as much about pages getting missing, going missing. So, we've got that set for you, and now we want to talk just a little bit about our next song. <laughs> This one's a tricky one, a tricky, tricky, tricky one. It goes to the mm, at with the little green frog. I'm hoping some people know it. We, we sort of can do it. <laughs> but ours is about the library staff. So we're going to get started. We're going to sing it through one time, and then we'll do it a second time so everybody can sing the next time. All right, are we ready? Shh, shh, went the library staff one day. Shh, shh, went the library staff. Went the library staff one day, and they all went shh, shh, shh. But, but we know <laughs> they, they know. Let's find your book. Let's make a craft. Let's sing a song. They all know. Go library cheer. They don't go shh, shh, shh. <laughs> you want to try that one one more time? You, you remember that? that? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to do it again so you can do the shush shows with us. Are you ready? Here we go. Shh, shh. Went the library staff one day. Shh, shh. Went the library staff. Shh, shh. Went the library staff one day. And they all went shh, shh, shh. But we know they go. Let's find your book. Let's make a craft. Let's sing a song, we know they go. Library cheer, they don't go shh, shh, shh. So that's a little difference about our library, that we like everybody to be happy and finding books you love and just enjoying your time with us, okay? So we're going to then turn around one more time. And can anybody remind me what the letter of the day is? What's the letter? B! B! Oh my gosh, listen to them. And what was this? What was it? It was a bus, right? And what's this? A bat. A bat. How about this bat. one? Ball. Yes. Ball. And bee. Uh huh. And, and we got banana. And banana. Yeah. And as Olivia pointed out before, buttons. Those all start with the letter B. And what was our number? Five. Five. So let's count together. Here we go. One, One two, two, three. three. Four, five, and then let's clap together to five. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. You guys are the best. So just a few announcements. Um, March calendars are available. If you haven't picked one up yet, we have them over here. It's also posted on our Facebook page for our events for the rest of the month. Um, the new craft will be available next Monday. However, next week is spring break for Kanawha County Schools, so we don't do any programs that week because everybody's traveling and different things are going on. Um, do take that opportunity, though, if you're in, to pick up your craft. 
And so we will see you again for programs for Words and Wiggles on the 17th of March, which is at 10.30 that day. So if you need anything between now and then, we're still open and checking out books and doing all those types of things. We just take a few days away from programs next week. So please let us know if there's anything you have questions about. We're going to get ready to sing our closing song. So we need to do this again one more time. So we're doing our goodbye song. So again... Find that messing magic invisible book. There's your book. Okay. okay. All right. Here we go. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. Oh, yeah! You're all the best. And remember what we mentioned in the song is the library cheer. So you know we count to three together. And then it's library as loud as you can. Is everybody ready? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. join us today <laughs> so please take a few minutes and look around we've got some new books out and we're all here to help you with anything you have questions about so thanks for joining